Okay, so to jump right into the video, I'm going to be using some silicone mix to restore a old wig and revamp it into something new. So um, I'm going to drop that into the boiling water on the stove there without burning myself like I did. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to just whisk it all around to make sure it's even evenly distributed throughout my whole wig, okay? So I'm going to let y'all watch me do that and dunk it and dip it and I'll be right back. I'm letting it sit for like 30 minutes in this little concoction, you know, um, just to make sure that it really absorbs the product. So I have, you know, a nice, smooth, even coat of silicone on my strands. But um, yeah, like I said, I let that sit for about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to um, keep checking on it periodically because I don't want it to start melting because it can happen. Sis, if you leave it in a pot of boiling water, your hair can your hair can start to melt. Also, make sure when you're doing this process, you want to turn off the fire underneath. I've I've heard of people and I've actually seen some people in person do this where they leave the water boiling with the fire on and they go back and their hair has melted and it's stuck to the bottom of the pot. Don't do that. Be a person that turns off the fire first, then put your wig inside, okay? I'm going to dip it, I'm going to pull it up, I'm going to dip it, you're going to pull it up. So make sure you do that. So after I'm done with the silicone mixture, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I examine the hair, make sure there's no melted parts, make sure my lace did not get damaged in the process, and the wig is not falling apart, look sis, because that water was hot, okay? Um, then I'm just going to go ahead and rinse the hair. Um, you want to rinse the hair because there's going to be a little bit of residue left over from the silicone mix, like some little white bollies trapped in your lace. Um, but nothing, some lukewarm water won't get out. And you want to do lukewarm because it's going to also cool the hair down enough to where it's easier to handle so that you're not burning yourself in the process. Um, after I rinsed the mixture out, it was so soft to the touch. It felt like brand new bundles. Like it was so easy to manage, so easy to comb through, just, and the waves were popping. Like I wanted to keep it in its natural state, but I really wanted to straighten it to really put this mix to the test to see what the hype was about because I've only used this once prior and it didn't really work on the hair and I believe that it was the manufacturer it had nothing to do with this product but um now I'm just going to go ahead and shampoo the lace first with some Garnier um this is a sulfate shampoo I believe so it's really going to strip whatever residue is left over from the silicone mix out of the hair you want to also massage that into the lace because your lace is going to be really delicate, really dry, really brittle because it's just been sitting with this gel in there and gel or got to be gel and spray their harsh chemicals. So if it's just been sitting in the back of the closet, it's going to be really, 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 really brittle. So you just want to make sure that you're handling it with care and massaging it in first just so that sulfate shampoo can break down that gel and build up and make up and whatever else you might have in your lace and then you just want to massage that all into the hair and make sure you're cleaning the actual strands because after this we're going to go in with some color and you don't want anything blocking the color from seeping in to your strands so i'm gonna just do that and then 
I'll see y'all when we color this thing. So now I'm just going to go ahead with this jet black ORS, ORC, ORCS, ORS, whatever, it's jet black. Um, <laughs> it's the olive oil uh, brand, so I'm just going to take the gloves out and all the necessary things, and we're going to dye this jet black. The reason why I'm dyeing this jet black and not bleaching it or putting any type of like crazy color on it is because for the fall... I really like jet black hair or um, red-ish maroon, like a wine red type of hair. But I, I honestly never, if I think about it, I've never had jet black hair. I've always had 1B natural color, which is 1B in vendor terms or red or brown or something like that. So I just wanted to try jet black and I think jet black just makes hair look really really rich really really healthy really really sleek and nice so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna take this from a natural color to a jet black color and um we're gonna need some bags you're going to need the to get your your lighting right first sis <laughs> but you're gonna need some gloves you're gonna need um some bags and of course your hair color so um I'm gonna be coloring it on this towel because it's an old towel and yeah, I I forgot to get some some saran wraps and some some um, aluminum foils. So yeah, we're gonna be using a towel only because it's jet black. Like it's not color. Like we ain't gotta be precise. This. So um, I'm just let y'all watch me do this, and then. Um, So I'm just going to go ahead with my hand and really saturate the hair, making sure I'm getting all the strands, really pushing this color into the the wig, um, only because I don't want to miss any spots, which in the lace part at the top, I did miss a couple of spots, but you can't really tell now that I'm looking at myself in the mirror, but it don't matter. Um, so <laughs> when I get to the top, you're going to notice that I do go in with the rat tail comb only because I didn't want to bleach my knots back black because I I have bleached the knots already and I don't want the lace that's left out to be black um, so you want to go in really carefully close to the root of the lace just not directly on the lace with this color unless you were doing like a watercolor method then do use this but I just opted not to do the watercolor method only because black is such a simple color to do on a wig you don't have to do all that and then you can see right here I learned very quickly not to put the bottle on the counter to put the damn bottle on the damn towel which I should have been doing because who got time for a black circle on the counter not me thank you excuse me very much um so now I'm just gonna brush the color in making sure that I'm getting all the strands they're evenly coated 
because I don't want any natural black spots. I only want jet black. Okay, jet black. Jet black says, even though I got one, one B spot in the top, but that don't matter. You can't see it. Shoot. We ain't perfect. Nobody's perfect. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do all of this. And I'm probably going to speed this part up. Um, yeah, so. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just some jet black. Make the hair look healthier. Look a little rich. Look a little new, you know. Look real cute. And, uh, yeah. So, two bottles of this. Um, I got two boxes of this ORS Jet Black Hair Color. Um, the olive oil Jet Black. So, yeah. Just go ahead and brush that through. I didn't realize that I was out of frame, but you get the gist, sis. Just brush it through. And coat all your strands. And then we're going to let it sit and some other stuff. And then I'll see y'all when it out. So now I'm just going to rinse the hair until it runs semi-clear with the water. Um, when doing this, if it's running black, like crazy running black like mine was, you just want to take a little bit more of your shampoo of choice, uh, sulfate shampoo, and just put it on there just to strip the color just a little bit more. I mean, if it doesn't run all the way clear, you'll be fine. You won't have like a residue on your hair when you go to straighten it or... It won't bleed on your clothes if it gets wet or something like that. Like you're gonna you're gonna be okay because you have to think about it. You have to wash this hair again. So um you don't want your color to bleed, but I mean just get it as the water as clear as you can, but don't overdo it. Just go ahead and wash it one little quick time, just really lightly, like maybe one little pump of shampoo and move along. Um, then I'm going to, I didn't record that step, but then I'm going to move to the replenishing pack. Um, the replenishing pack, replenishing pack, say that three times fast, is just going to go ahead and put back, um, some moisture back into the hair, uh, because anytime you process the hair, whether it be a shade darker or two shades lighter, it's always going to take, um, some of the moisture out and it's going to make it dry. So you just want to go ahead and replenish the hair and make sure it's deeply moisturized. And then I let that sit for maybe like 30 or 40 minutes um, just while I cleaned up my mess. And then I rinsed it out. So, yeah. Okay, so for those of you who are wondering why my cap is black, my cap is black because my lace is not transparent. Um, from Ali Grace, their lace is not as transparent as um, Beauty Forever's hair. Um, Ali Grace, their lace is more on um, like a thicker, not so transparent side. So you have to really, really bleach it. And then on top of bleaching it, I tinted it. 
with a fabric spray in the color brown. If I could find the fabric spray, I will drop the link below. I got that little secret from my girl Ivy here on YouTube. But um, yeah, so that's why my cap is black and I'm just using it as a protective barrier. So just gonna move into some styling, metal sleek part with some jet black hair. So I just added my last little bit of touches, I bumped it under, cut some layers in the front to frame my little chunky face because it's just put on a couple pounds, okay? So that's not nobody's business. Um, happy weight, anyway. Um, but yeah, so it's really, really soft to the touch. Oh my god, you guys, this silicone mix is bomb. Okay, maybe the first time I used it wrong when I used it because baby, look at that body. Honey, stiff where anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i am really really feeling this hair just wanted you to see the true jet black color in natural lighting lace where baby and until next video aha, hair flip what i'll see y'all later love you bye mm -hmm.